Dollywood's Lightning Rod is one of the most anticipated new roller coasters of 2016, and for good reason. Dollywood revealed that the company behind the new launch system with the world's first launched wood coaster is Velocity Magnets, a company known for their magnetic brakes, but they, as far as I know, had never done a launch before. I think roller coaster enthusiasts have assumed that they would use a standard you know, launch system used on any other you know, steel launch coaster recently, but it seems like maybe they've gone with a little more innovative technology. Launch coasters have always required a very high amount of power for the launch, which either requires an expensive, high-capacity electrical service, which is drawn heavily on when you launch, or you need to use a device to store energy from a lower-capacity service. So the job of the roller coaster engineers is to get energy from the power grid or storage source and transfer it to the coaster in the most efficient way possible. In order for a theme park to build a launch coaster, they may have to install electrical service infrastructure first. This initial installation could have a very high initial cost and could require the theme park to pull the power directly from the local power grid, which not every park has that option, or they may not want to do it, or maybe they don't have the space to put their the electrical infrastructure that's needed, or they're just not able to do it. So to address some of the issues and to improve on the launch system technology, it appears that Lightning Rod may be using a newly patented ultra-capacitor-based launch system to store energy supplied from a more affordable electrical service and release it during launch. Lightning Rod has these ultra-capacitors that maybe get somewhere around, you know, 250 amps of power from a power grid in, in a continuous connection. So, it, so it's getting low power at a continuous rate. The capacitors charge up in between launches, and then when it's time to launch, bam, they discharge, you know, 6,000 amps in a couple seconds to get that train up the mountainside. So unlike a flywheel generator, this new system may not require a separate you know, facility to house the capacitors. Maybe they're located in cabinets right next to the LSMs on the launch track. Uh, another cool feature listed in the patent for this system is the ability to have a second energy input. So basically they, they can take energy from the brakes and recycle it back into the capacitors to store for the launch. The brakes are not simply passive, but they're utilized to lower the electrical need of the entire ride system, making it much more efficient.